Hey, Randy, I know that I caught you going out to a meeting. Thanks for just spending a few minutes with me. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the Trayvon Martin case because I'm actually talking to some producers today about the breaking news and specifically um, summarize what actually happened to you being shot in the streets and then also what you think about the stand your ground law. Yeah, there's a big debate now that this law needs to be repealed, that this is why this young boy was killed, and that's not the case. He was killed, had nothing to do with this Florida statute. In my case, I was one of those people who chose peace. I was uh, had an armed robber who was attacking me. I thought, hey, just give the guy the money, let him go on his way. I did that. He shot me and left me for dead in the street. And and then you're in Florida, correct? I am in Florida. Okay. And then what about the uh, prominent people that are talking about this law? What would you say about what they're saying? Until you've had somebody holding a gun to your forehead, as I did, until you've had somebody holding a gun right in your abdomen and pull the trigger, as I did, don't be so quick to make these judgments. You have milliseconds to make these decisions when you're under attack. And that's why this stand your ground law in Florida and about 20 other states was created for just these kind of situations. Do you think you would have done something differently now, you know, after having been through the surgery and getting the bullet out and all the things that happened after, um, you know, the crazy guy with the gun came after you? What about now? Would you have done something differently? Yeah, I would. Uh, I've been trained in martial arts. I know how to defend myself, but our first choice is usually, hey, just defuse the situation. If there's a way to get out of it, do it. And I thought, give this guy the money. It was a crackhead. It was in the middle of the cocaine cowboy days here in Miami. I figured, hey, give him the money, let him go to the crack house, and he'll move on. But that's thinking that he's going to think rationally. Well, people who are on hopped up on drugs, they don't think rationally. They think, hey, it's better if I just kill this guy and then there's nobody to call the police. And that's what why he pulled the trigger with me. Yeah. Today, a man, no, I'm not going to just give him the money. I'm going to defend myself, even with deadly force. Yeah. Uh, give the phone. Let me turn it down. It's uh, even with deadly force, I'm going to defend myself because, you know, I saw what happens if you don't. Listen, I know that you've got a ton of things to go do. You are available to speak about this to the media. I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to discuss your views on this. Um, you know, not even putting on clothing or anything, just kind of doing it ad hoc. So I really appreciate that. I will talk to you soon, Randy. Thanks so much. Hey, one other thing. Just okay. to, you know, before, they, they kind of like throw the baby out with the bathwater. People say, well, that because there's protests, there's rallies. I get it. There's been injustice here. With this 17, you know, you can't get shot just because you're black. You can't get shot just because you're wearing a hoodie. It doesn't work that way. But this law specifically says it's for defending yourself. What happened here with somebody ignoring the demands of the law enforcement, getting out of his vehicle, pursuing this kid with a gun, that has nothing in the statute. So to say, we need to throw this law away, it's like uh, if we say, well, we need to change the law about leaving the scene of an accident after this, remember this Costa Cruise Line captain oh, who right. drives onto the island and then goes out and orders pizza with his girlfriend? Yeah, There's yeah. nothing wrong with the law. Don't leave the law of the accident. This guy just didn't, you know, follow, or, you know, captain stays with the ship, any of those things. It's the same thing here. There's nothing wrong with these laws in these 21 states for the most part. It's how it's being interpreted in this case. Nice. Clear. Thank you so much, Randy. I'm at 828-749-3200. I'm Randy's publicist. If you would like to book him. Thank you. Talk to you soon, Randy. Thanks, Michelle. Bye.